Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into the incredible life of a man whose name echoes through history Winston Churchill. Born in 1874, Churchill was not just a person, he was a leader, a speaker, and a key figure in some of the most important moments of the 20th century. Winston Churchill grew up in a time when horse-drawn carriages were still a common sight. Even though he faced some challenges in school, he later became a soldier and a war correspondent, showing his adventurous spirit. Early on, people noticed there was something special about him. When World War I began in 1914, Churchill was right there in the thick of it. He served as the First Lord of the Admiralty, which means he was in charge of the Navy. Churchill played a crucial role in making sure the British Navy was ready for the challenges of war. After the war, Churchill found himself in a bit of a tough spot. Politics can be tricky, and he switched political parties. He faced both successes and setbacks, but he always stayed determined. Even when he wasn't in the top government job, he continued to share his thoughts through writing and speaking. Now, let's talk about the big one World War II. When Hitler's forces threatened Europe, Churchill's moment arrived. In 1940, he became the Prime Minister of Britain. His speeches during this time are legendary. He inspired not just the British people, but the whole world with his famous words, We shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight on the landing grounds. We shall fight in the fields and in the streets. People often called Churchill the Bulldog because of his determination and resilience. Even when things looked tough, he kept going. His leadership during the war helped keep the spirits high. And his friendship with the United States, President Franklin D. Roosevelt, strengthened the Allied forces. After the war, Churchill's party lost the election, but that didn't stop him. He famously said, success is not final, failure is not fatal, it is the courage to continue that counts. True to these words, he came back as Prime Minister in the 1950s. Winston Churchill left a lasting impact on the world. His speeches are still studied, and his quotes are often repeated. He received the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1953. His legacy as a leader, a speaker, and a symbol of courage lives on, reminding us that even in the darkest times, great leaders can emerge. And there you have it, a glimpse into the life of Winston Churchill. A man of words, actions, and an unwavering spirit. Join us next time as we explore more stories of remarkable individuals who shaped our world. Thanks for watching.